Over the next decade, South Korea aims to transition into a hydrogen economy. Plans include having some 30,000 green vehicles powered by the energy source hitting the roads, as well as increasing production, distribution channels, and technological capacities. Lee kyung zooms in on the goals. At the heart of the global carbon neutrality trend is intensifying competition to develop hydrogen as the new clean energy. And South Korea Wednesday joined some 40 countries that outlined strategies to boost the hydrogen economy, which is gaining more significance in the wake of energy supply disruptions caused by the Ukraine war. In order to become a leading country in the era of the hydrogen economy, the new government has set the goal of fostering the world's best, and it will push for the policies needed to achieve that. As the first step for the transition, the government will boost domestic demand for hydrogen, starting with the mobility industry. Right now, there are only around 200 commercialized hydrogen vehicles on the roads in South Korea. And all the current hydrogen charging stations are mostly for compressed gas. But by 2030, the government aims to have 30,000 hydrogen cars in the country and 70 charging stations that store liquid hydrogen, which compared to gas is safer and can be stored in larger quantities. It will also install more energy super stations where traditional gas, electricity and hydrogen can be recharged at the same spot. And by 2036, hydrogen is expected to take up 7.1 percent of the nation's energy development. All of this is expected to have an economic effect of some 35 billion U.S. dollars, create 100,000 jobs, and reduce 28 million tons of greenhouse emissions by 2030. For the expected rise in demand, the government will ramp up production using nuclear power, install a large-scale liquid hydrogen plant, and expand distribution channels. It will also scrap regulations and increase subsidies with the aim of nurturing 600 hydrogen-related farms at home by 2030. Lee Young-un, Arirang News.